Hey, hey, Wildlands Colin here, the Wild CEO, for another video. What is the best diet for weight loss? The answer might surprise you. Let's get into it. So you've probably heard of all the different diets out there, South Beach, Atkins, Paleo, Keto, Carnivore, Modified This, FODMAP, Low Carb, Low Fat. I mean, there's just too many to even list. What's the best though? Well, let me just first disclaim the fact that the best is a very tricky word. It's a word used by marketers. It's a word that people might use when they're talking about things. And it's very subjective. That being said, there is a best diet for the humans. It is the natural diet. It is a diet based on our ancestral past. It is a diet that is as close to real, raw, wild nature as possible. This is a first principle of human nutrition and biology. That is the best diet for humans. What is this best diet for humans? It is high quality, real, ingredients prepped at home yourself, not cooked or prepped by a corporation or a restaurant. That right there is the first principle of optimal human health and nutrition. It is the best diet for weight loss. It is the best diet for longevity. It is the best diet for health. Now, as a foundation, if you're going to build on top of that and do things like manage certain macros, do more fat, less fat, more protein, less protein, you know, plants, animals, this, whatever, that's when you get into all the different diet recommendations. But every diet, no matter what goes on top, must go on the foundation of real, raw food, natural, as close to nature as possible ingredients. That's what Wild Foods is about. Every product that we sell is based on that sourcing philosophy. So the best diet for weight loss, the best diet for health, the best diet for performance, the best diet for you is real food, right? Let's get that out of the way. Now let's talk about a few things that you can throttle. So if you had to give me a list of popular diets and say, which of these are the best if we're accepting that real food is a foundation. I would say it's gonna be some combination of these different diets. Some of them actually a mix of each, paleo, keto, and an animal-based and or carnivore way of eating. And if you have certain autoimmune issues, then you can look into something like FODMAP or like Whole30, that's not really a diet, it's more of a protocol, but some kind of elimination diet that eliminates certain toxic foods that might affect your biology. It's somewhere in that group of diets is the best diet for you, which is again, on top of the foundation of real food. So if you're gonna do something like keto, for example, and you're gonna optimize eating a lot more fat and less protein, what I found and what I've seen is that will get you to a certain place. If fat loss is your goal, especially a lot of people going to keto for fat loss, you're going to plateau. Then you could look at something like a carnivore based diet that optimizes protein. So maybe you go from eating 10 to 15% of your calories from protein to 30 to 35% of your calories from protein. You probably can't go much higher than that. Even a high protein diet might be like 50% of calories. That's really pushing it. And if you had no carbs in that diet, you'd have the 50% mix of fat and 50% protein and maybe like zero to 5% carbs. And so that's more of the carnivore with a protein priority end of the spectrum. That's actually what I personally do myself. Although I'm probably eating around five to 10% of my calories of carbs. I'm throwing in certain plant foods that my body agrees with and that I can use for certain goals. And then the rest is animal-based nutrition, focus on protein, and then filling in the gaps with clean fats. For me, that is my optimal diet. And then the baseline is I'm buying the highest quality ingredients I can. I'm cooking like 99% of my meals at home. That's the diet for me. That's the best diet for me, no matter what I'm trying to do, whether it's weight loss, weight, weight gain, muscle, fitness, health, doesn't matter. That's the best diet for me. The best diet for you might be a more balanced approach where you have more plants in your diet, ones that don't bother you. You have moderate to low carb, right? Cause that's very much ancestrally appropriate. Our ancestors, aside from a few select groups like the Catavans, we didn't really eat carbs at that level. You can't really find a lot of carbs in nature. So generally you're gonna go for more of a lower carb. And I think that is close to a first principle of human health. You can obviously survive on more carbs and people do all the time, but I don't think it's optimal for metabolic function for longevity. So protein is a must, we must eat protein and we must eat fat. We don't have to eat carbs, but we can throw in carbs, select carbs that our bodies do well with to add variety, flavor, performance, etc. So you might have something that is paleo style where you try to avoid any modern food. So you avoid grains and things like that. Which again, I think that's closer to a first principle and you eat moderate lower carb and then you have adequate nutrition from animals and protein and fat and that works as well. And you could take that same framework or you could even take a carnivore framework or you can take like a carnivore paleo framework, which are kind of the same thing in some ways. Although carnivore is way more animals and almost no plants and, and paleo has a lot of plants in it. And then you can meet somewhere in the middle. You take a little bit of paleo, you take a little bit of keto. So you optimize your fat a little bit, you throttle your protein from animals. Let's say you go for 25% of calories, 30, and then you have like the perfect diet for you, which is again, built on the foundation of real food. So that's just a short video to introduce you to how to think about nutrition and diets and whatnot. There's so much confusion. There's a lot of profit in your confusion. There's a lot of products that people sell that don't do anything. There's a lot of books and YouTube videos and articles and whatever that is mostly noise. One thing's for sure though, food quality is the baseline. Do not let anybody tell you that it's about how many calories you do or do not eat. That 
that is the old nutrition dogma that has been failing people for over 50 years. Doctors have been recommending it. Millions and millions of Americans that are overweight have been trying it. And it's not because they have lack of willpower. That's the biggest illusion. Blaming overweight people for being overweight is a complete and utter farce. They're given bad advice. Low fat, eat your grains, eat your this, eat your that, whatever. I won't go even go there because this video could be much longer. Think about your nutrition and your diet and the best diet for you, whether it's weight loss, gain, no matter what you're trying to do. Cooking your meals at home at the foundation and then taking principles of like, let's say paleo, keto, carnivore, and then mixing it together to find the perfect diet for you.